applications of total internal reflection. A periscope can be used to view objects behind obstacles. The construction of the periscope is based on the effects of a prism on rays of light. The periscope is built using two right angle prisms crown glass. Total internal reflection take place at the hypotenuse face of both prism. The angle of incidence at these faces is 45 degree, which is greater than the critical angle of prism of crown glass, 42 degree. Advantages of prism periscope as compared to a mirror periscope. The image of the prism periscope is brighter, as compared to a mirror periscope, because all light energy is reflected. The image of the prism periscope is clearer, as compared to a mirror periscope, because there are no overlapping of images. The construction of prism binoculars is also based on the effects of a prism on rays of light. The two prisms are arranged in such a way as to deviate the incident rays through 180 degree. Light rays from a distant object incident normally on the hypotenuse face of the first prism and strike the other two faces at an angle of 45 degree. The two prisms reflect light in zigzag path as shown in the diagram. This angle of incidence is greater than the critical angle of glass which is 42 degree, so the rays undergo total internal reflection twice, and emerge from the prism as parallel rays in the opposite direction. Prism is used in binocular to shorten the length, between the eyepiece lens and objective lens. It also reflects light rays to produce upright images. The focusing wheel function to get a clear picture. Adjustable eyepiece helps to get the clearest vision of picture. Optical fibers come in with thousands of fine strand. Light rays entering the fiber will undergo many times of total internal reflection. They are used widely in telecommunication and medical equipment like endoscope. Each single glass fiber is coated with a thin layer of another type of glass of lower refractive index. Light rays entering the interface between the two glass surfaces at angles of incidence greater than the critical angle undergo total internal reflection. After many repeated total internal reflections at the walls, the light rays emerge from the other end without loss of intensity. A bundle of parallel fibers is used to construct an optical transmission line for transferring the image of an object from one point to another. There are few advantages of using optical fiber cables. The optical fiber cables is strong and flexible. Plus, it is thinner and lighter. Optical fiber is a way cheaper than copper cables. It also can carry a much higher volume of telephone calls, computer data, and TV pictures, than electrical wires. Optical fiber has high quality transmission of information over long distances with negligible signal loss. Thank you for taking time to watch this.